Dai Dai you family and welcome to another Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How you doing? How you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways, family. All your ways. And that you're moving into living life truly on your own terms. A uh, special shout out, of course, to our Patreon family. Thank you for upholding and standing with us this year. Uh, it's been, you know, it's been such a privilege always to interact with you on that platform to share exclusive information with you and just to have you guys support the channel because uh, you know Babylon doesn't like what we're saying so it's like if you ain't saying what we want you to say we ain't gonna pay you and you can understand that but um, those are stories of for other days family I keep saying our voice is our superpower now. And I might not have released that show um, on the main channel yet, but it is, it is something that is emerging. It's one of the superpowers that we now have is at our disposal, is that when we collectively speak against something, it shifts things in the atmospheres. It's not even like, it shifts policy. It shifts nar the narrative family. Wow. We acknowledge the ancestors in the wind family. And you know, this is amazing because a, a couple of months ago, I don't know if you remember, I did a whole story about how, uh, you know, they took, they used to take uh, the skulls. Oh yeah, it was on Williamson Moy Ruto when our new president became president. I was talking about how he had the, taken the name of this great spiritual leader from his community and they had actually taken his skull like a hundred and something years ago, uh, Samoy, Arab Samoy, and they'd never returned it. And our people were still, you know, trying to get it back. And then it became this ripple effect where a lot of you guys in the comments from everywhere, from South Africa, from Zimbabwe, from uh, Ghana, even from oh, different countries, Suriname different Caribbean nations, IT. All of you guys, you know, came and told me about this other, free, this freedom fighter, fighter, that freedom fighter's head who was taken and all this stuff. And we recognized that this was a massive thing they were doing. And then I don't know if you remember, I shared that there was a verse which talked about how they used to perform magic on these skulls. To who knows what, to block, to learn about the secrets of the people to learn what was coming. Our people would be extremely tortured to release this information. And they even talked about the ritual they performed in the Bible. I can't even remember what, but go and watch that show, family, for real. Um, I'll definitely link it in the, car, in, the, in the description bar. Where on a full moon or something, they would put like a plate in the mouth of the skull and they'd do something with his freaking brain or whatever and they would get the skull to talk to them but now family so a couple of months later uh, actually literally three months later there was an auction house in belgium which was forced to cancel the sale of three skulls of africans killed during the colonial period in, uh, in the democratic republic of congo uh, allegedly the skulls belonging to people killed between january 1893 and may 1894 were put up for sale by van der kinder auction house in brussels it's not clear they have not mentioned who actually owned these who was putting them up for auction. And these things used to happen, family. But you see now there's a different consciousness attached to this whole thing. So you can't just do it willy-nilly really, 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 really like that. Um, and, you know, it created so much outrage, family. So much outrage in Belgium um, and across the world, you know. Uh, and, you know, a human rights group called Collectif Memoir Colonial et Lutte Contre la Discrimination um, called for a rally in Brussels to condemn the sale of the skulls and for the human skulls to be seized by the government and conserved in an appropriate way and with dignity. They should give them back to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Allow the spirit to return. Allow the spirit to return, family. Give them an honorable funeral. So, you know, it's alleged um, that, you know, that Van der Kinder, whatever, that's the auction house, uh, decided to remove the three skulls from a private colonial collection. I told you guys, who, who owns it? Imagine. What these people have of ours, family, because by this point, you must recognize that it's magic that is 
kind of controlling Africa. It's that has Africa in hostage, where the people are totally like in this mental, I don't know what it is even, mental stupor, where we're not fully there or we have, we're totally like, it's like we're being held prisoner, but we can move around, we can do these jobs, but concepts like poverty, famine, civil war, civil unrest, African nations are never at peace, dark continent, poverty, lack, and yet we have all the diamonds. Of, and it just doesn't make sense. It's even like stupid that we believe that. So we all know by this point that Africa is being colonized by spells. Colonialism never ended. Our ancestors didn't recognize it was a spell. They thought it was just these guys coming to invade the land. That was just for them to even get more of our instruments of power so they could control us properly. Neo-colonialism is the real colonialism family. Well, they have you thinking, you're, now it's a mental slavery. Before our, our ancestors fought against it. They would die holding the soil and saying that our, our, our bloodline would never be, be separated from this soil. Because it was a physical, now they're coming, they came with hard power then, military, killing, rape, torture, just doing all kinds of crazy things in front of others to shatter them. But now it's more soft power family, where they're coming in with their programming, where they're coming in with their education and all this stuff. And the people are in this confusion because they don't know where this, these limitations are coming from. They don't know where this is all, why this is all happening. And yet they can't stop. I mean, you think Africans like to hear about how their diamonds are being taken, how their gold is being taken, how Europe has all these military forces in the, on the motherland, and yet we can, do you think that's a good thing? Don't you think hearing all this is part of the torture? So now that we know Africa is under a spell, I mean, you have to accept that family. And we know that over 90% of our artifacts are in Babylon. What do you think these private colonial collections hold? What do you think the Vatican has? They have floors. And the basements level, level 10, level 20, level 33, filled with our artifacts, filled with our instruments of power, filled with the skulls of our ancestors. They are obsessed with our power. That's why they keep digging up the graves of our ancestors. But I'll definitely talk about that because that has kind of turned in our favor. But family... Um, you know, they, so the, the, this private collection, who owns this? These things need to be activated. But you see, I feel like even the wizards and the witches of Africa, we didn't quite realize that Africa is under a spell. We didn't quite realize that. Actually, you know what, I'll do a whole separate show on that because I'm getting a major download from the ancestors on that. Um, and, you know, so the auction house said, you know, we in no way condone the suffering and humiliation, blah, blah, blah suffered by the people who are victims of these colonial acts. Uh, we once again offer our deepest regrets to anyone who has been hurt and hurt by the sale of this lot. And you know what? It's so interesting, family. And it's funny because it says, you know, the auction actually caused pandemonium on social media, sparking anger in the country and across the world with human rights organizations calling it dehumanizing and racist. Um, and, you know, according to reports, killing, famine and disease caused the deaths of up to 10 million Congolese during the first 23 years of the Belgian rule from 1885 to 1960. The good thing is, family, let me tell you what's happening here. I really, I don't believe, I know this, but maybe people have their own interpretation. These things are now activated. A lot of our ancestors, because their spirits have returned, because the ancient ones are back. The ancient ones are back and they're activating timelines to where we are, family. The ancestors are back. Things are happening on a spiritual realm. That's why I'm saying we are, we are a speck in the grander scheme of things. 
a lot of you, it really doesn't matter whether you make it or not. Like, you need to get that into your head so that you, you, you show initiative. I told you, give spirit a reason to save you. Give spirit a reason to transform your life by starting to clear yourself and wanting to be part of the resistance family, of the restoration. Let me not even call it resistance, of the restoration. Because you know what? A lot of these things now, these private collections and stuff, these things are coming alive. Because ancient shamans are back and they're calling their energy back, they're calling their ancestors back. And it's activating these skulls and these instruments of power, family, in these collections. And Babylon can handle you th three skulls, just all of a sudden they want to give away these three skulls. It's because those things are now activated and are causing havoc. And especially in 2023, you're going to see how many nations are going to come forward and say, oh, we want to give this back, oh, we want to give that back. Because there's a new breed of African shamans that are around family. I feel them. It's like we're connected spiritually or something. Who are calling back the narrative of their people. Who are restored just by their existence. Things are having to come back into balance. They're calling the spirits of their ancestors, of their descendants. They're calling them all back family. And it's agitating all these instruments of power everywhere. They're calling everything back. They're calling their kingdoms back. They're calling their queendoms back. And if you're a shaman out there, these are the things you can be doing that will, will start to tip the world in our favor. You don't have to go out there and shoot people, demonstrate. There are those who will demonstrate. But if you're on a higher level, use your higher energy to create some real shifts and some real change by just calling back. We call back our ancestors. We call back the, the, the queendom of the Agekoyo. We call back the spirit of Mombi, the first mother. We call back the spirit of Agekoyo, the first man. We call into our lives Mwene Nyaka, Mwene Hinya, the Most High, who never left us, but we call our attention. Help us see you clearly now. <laughs> You're going to see in 2023, guys are going to, all these nations are going to be like, oh, Kenya, we want to give you back this. Oh, Ethiopia, we want to give you back this. Oh, Nigeria, please take your Benin bronzes. Because the religious psychosis is, is crumbling. And as it crumbles, African spirituality is rising. Like African spirituality is rising like nobody's business family across the continent. And you know when it really just took like a quantum leap was at the beginning of the pandemic. Because so many people felt there was something wrong with it. There was something off. And that's when they went to their villages and everything. And you know what? The spiritualists are in such demand, but they've said, there's no spiritualist I know, African spiritualist that I know, who is seeing anyone who has taken the double Big Mac. Those guys now, it's like you're just like, because it's affecting the energies too much. You're already a different being now but they're in such high demand. And you can see it because now, it, you, even online, even when you go to the store, you can buy some of our herbal remedies right off the shelf, family. But those are stories of four other days. Tukopamoja.